Look, saint versus sinners, the poor versus riches Top ramen place versus five star dentists Wonder where I fit in, the humblest beginnings Had to take some losses before I saw my first winnings Silver line grinning, poverty line thinning My life is like a movie and the plot just thickened Came from broken homes trying to break the old traditions Left my old ways for my future acquisitions, I know What is up YouTube, welcome back to the channel <laughs> I've got my light on my phone set up right in front of me because it's um yeah as you would have seen pretty early and it's absolutely bucketing down rain the idea with this video was to take you guys um for a run with the group this morning which i'm still gonna do but it's not ideal when it's actually absolutely pouring rain i've got my um little clip for my hat so i can wear um i can put the camera on my cap which is cool so that's the idea, get a little bit of footage this morning, see how we kind of roll um, with the running group. Obviously different style of training, running in a group, but I prefer it, it's much better, really pushes me. So yeah, should be able to show you guys a little bit of that. And then main idea of this video is to run through my current training split with running, gym, and the cycling that I'm doing at the moment. So that will be the main part of the video. We're gonna throw in a back workout there as well, which I did on Wednesday. So yeah, a few bits and pieces, but I'm gonna be late if I don't get going, so I shall see you guys shortly. No such thing as playing both sides, I know The life is better in the dope ride, I know The water better in the low tide Music better amplified, staying down for upsides, I know No such thing as playing both sides, I know Life is better in the dope ride, I know The water better in the low tide Music better amplified, staying down for upsides, I know no such thing as playing both sides, I know The life is better in the dope ride, I know The water better in the low tide Music better amplified, staying down for upsides, I know Hey. Yeah, let's see how you do under pressure, oh I've been wanted this shit forever I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better okay. Ay. Yeah. Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy extra, extra, extra. Fuck with me, you know that I got it Come with me, let's take a trip to the islands We up on the jet, we'll do more than just fly on it Stand on that hill, you gon' die on it Boom. Boom. Baby, I'm not one of them, you should try on it Miss me with all that, I'm on it and next yeah. Fuck this up, i send you back to your ex But good luck with that, this is big as it gets Shoot a whole clip Firepower in this coalition We just turned the field into a demolition It was desolate, but I had premonition I was training for war every exhibition Every extra mission, every enemy listening Get off my dick, I got bad in That is the workout complete Always a good run with the crew There wasn't as many people as, as there usually is um, A lot of people prepping for um, Tokyo Marathon, I think it is So they got big training on the weekend It's a bit bit all over the place so usually there's around 10 of us but yeah smaller group today but it was went really well oh um i'll show you all the details from that run when i get home and then we'll go through like my current training split and a full week of training and all that but um yeah gonna finish my coffee and then i shall see you guys at home all right we've showered up we've made some breakfast and we're about to go through the run from this morning, but what we've got here, we've got some oats, just um, put in the microwave with some water, and then we've got some peanut butter, oh, and BPN whey protein with the oats as well. So we've got one scoop of the Nutter Bar Blast, but there we have it. It's around 65 grams of oats, I think it was, but that should fuel me for the next few hours. We've got one scoop of strong greens, one scoop of strong reds, We've got creatine, five grams of that, and some electrolytes in here as well. So 
That's what we're having for breakfast, but let's go through this morning's run. So this morning's run, usually when I run with the running group, they're usually just doing like a session, so I just jump in with that. So it's not, it's probably a better way to go about my training and prepare and stuff better, but I like running with the group. And if I had my own set plan, then that would mean that I'd probably be running by myself a lot. So I usually just jump in with the group and they're usually always really good sessions. So we'll, we'll talk about like the full week of training later on in the video, but let's just talk about this morning. So we warmed up with five kilometers, just easy pace. So that was 4.57 per kilometer. And then we changed shoes over, like you would have seen in the video. Walk down to the start of where we just start our efforts from and we jump straight into 15 minutes and that was dead on a four minutes per kilometer pace. I'll also leave the minutes per mile pace on the screen for you guys that are in America so you can, um, you can see how quick that is in miles per minute. Sorry, I think I just said minutes per mile. Wait, is that right? Miles, minutes per, minutes per mile. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't know why that's confusing me right now, but that's all good. So we did four minutes per kilometer pace for 15 minutes, and then we bumped it up and we did 10 minutes at 3.49 per kilometer pace, and then we did five minutes at 3.43 kilometer, kilometer pace. So it was pretty much 30 minutes of running with progression at like I just mentioned, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and five minutes. My heart rate, I think, jumped all the way up to 200 and something near the end. So I was pushing it, and I was um, redlining pretty hard, but we got it done. I actually felt pretty good at the end. Um, I Luke kind of broke away from me on that 10 minute effort, and I managed to catch him near the end of it, and felt really good on that last five minute effort. So that was a really good run. And then we finished off with 1.27 kilometer cool down just to get it to 14 kilometers. So that was, that was this morning's run, felt really good. I will, like I said, go through the full week of training and how I'm balancing everything in a moment. But like I said, I filmed the back workout on Wednesday, so I'm gonna eat this food and you guys are gonna watch me train back. Hope you enjoy. So we're back at LSKD for a massive back and bicep session. We started off the session with pull-ups. So doing around 10 reps per set. And we did around we did around five sets in the end because I wanted to show you guys a few different angles. So we started off on the, the kind of cable machine pull-up bar and the lighting wasn't the greatest so I moved across to this one over here but just wanted to show you guys a few different angles see that back working nice slow and controlled reps great to do pull-ups at the start of your session when you got plenty of energy you can really get a good stretch and squeeze of the muscle after that we moved into some dumbbell dumbbell rows so as you can see I got the bench set up there I got my feet pretty much side by side. You can put like one foot forward if you'd prefer to do that, but I've felt that, that these feel pretty good. Just aiming on bringing that dumbbell towards the hip and letting it stretch all the way out, getting a good squeeze through the lats. Jumped onto a um, seated cable row, close grip. So same thing again, just really slow and controlled, focusing on bringing the weight all the way back, no half reps making sure you get all the way back so you can get a good squeeze in the middle of that back. And as you can see here, keeping the torso pretty still, letting the weight come all the way out and then bringing it all the way back with a decent amount of weight, but nothing too crazy where you're swinging it around. Moved into straight down pull downs after that, was using this B strap, which is kind of like a cable, I mean, sorry, like a rope kind of thing, but you put your hands through just takes away your forearm strength a bit, but we hit another three to four sets of these, I'd say around 10 to 12 reps. These are feeling pretty good, just getting a big stretch through the lats and then bringing it all the way back as well. And then this was actually the last back exercise I did, so I didn't do, I needed four, four exercises, I think that was. And then we moved into some biceps to finish. So just doing single arm dumbbell curls. I've just been loving these. I haven't really, I've really gone away from doing cables and easy bar stuff and all that. I've got a bit 
couple imbalances in my biceps. I feel like one is much stronger, much bigger than the other one. And I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but I feel like my left arm, which is right on the right of screen, I feel like that's a little bit smaller. So just using each arm separately, doing unilateral stuff to try to bring that one up. And so I pretty much just did three to four sets. So I did the, the curls first, and then as soon as I'm like burnt out, I can't get any reps out, I would jump onto the hammer curls straight away. A little physique check to finish up. We're pretty lean at the moment. It's not really intentional or it's not really a trying to get there. I've still been eating plenty of food. So yeah, it is what it is. And I'm enjoying how I'm looking, how I'm feeling, feeling strong, feeling fit. Running's going well, so we're all good. So there's a little shot of the back. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the session, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the voiceover. All right, guys, let's go through my full week of training so far. I'll leave a little bit of space over here so I can put some details up. And I've got my trusty notebook here and I've just written down kind of what I've done so far for the week. So like I said, I'm, I'm balancing gym, running and cycling at the moment. And pretty much because I've got the bike now and I've just been loving riding. It's a good change up usually before that, I was just running and lifting. So let's go through it. This is this week's training, I will say that. So Monday, we did a 20K run. Now I did the 20Ks because I didn't really do, well, a long run kind of on the weekend. So I don't know, I felt good on the Monday, felt motivated, so we knocked out 20 kilometers at a reasonable pace. I chucked in a couple quicker kilometers in there as well, but overall it was a pretty easy 20 kilometer run. We did a chest and tricep session at the gym on Monday as well. So that was Monday's training. Tuesday, we had a track session. So I will leave some details for the track session up on the screen as well. That was with the running group. That ended up 14 kilometers total. And that same day, we went to the gym and trained legs, which I'm still feeling the repercussions from that session because it was a tough session. And the legs are still cooked. So that was Tuesday's workouts. Wednesday, we did 46 kilometers on the bike. So it was about 40 kilometers at a pretty hard effort. And then six kilometers just cool down really cruisy home. And that was on the bike. So the way I've been planning my sessions on the bike is kind of like that doing it the day after I train legs. I feel like the day after you train legs, it, the, the running the day after can be really sluggish and tough on the legs. Going for a ride, I feel like you can keep your heart rate around that 140, 150 range while keeping it relatively easy on the bike. So yeah, I've been choosing to kind of put my cycling session in the day after my leg sessions and I've been enjoying that. So that's what we did last. That's what we did this week, sorry. And that was Wednesday. And then in the afternoon, we did a back and bicep session at Alice KD, which I would have showed you guys just before. So I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Thursday, so yesterday, I had a 12 kilometer run. Now this one was a little bit all over the place because I did shoot with my photographer, Ash, and I wanted to get some quicker reps in there. So I picked up the pace a little bit, but yeah, that was 12 kilometers. And then in the afternoon, we did a shoulder and ab session at the gym. So that was Thursday, Friday, which is today actually, 14 kilometer run with that tempo effort. Well, tempo slash threshold, which I showed you guys the details of that before. No gym today, just usually because I have a big training load over the weekend or on a Saturday. And plus I've already pretty much hit all my muscle groups in the f first four days of the week. So Friday, I usually have off and yeah, just kind of do that tougher session in the morning. And then I kind of enjoy just chilling out a bit more on Friday for the rest of the day. Saturday, which is tomorrow. Usually I have been going for a run, sorry, not a run, a ride with a couple of the lads. Same, same group that I ride with on Wednesday. And like I said, I've just been enjoying the, the ride, so that's pretty much what I've been doing. So that's a longer ride. It will be 1.5 to two hours, so an hour and a half to two hours. And there's no gym on that 
day either. So that's Saturday's training. Sunday, obviously that's a pretty big six days of training. Sunday will be a rest or I think this weekend Katie wants to go and do like a ride around Corumban and a swim and stuff. So it'll be relatively pretty chill. It won't be anything crazy taxing on the body and I'm not sure if I'll do the swim yet either. But that is pretty much my full week of training and that's how I think I'm going to balance everything out moving forward. I think doing the leg session on the Tuesday when I do that track session and then doing the ride on Wednesday morning rather than running, I think that combination is going to be really good. And I think I might even keep this same kind of training load moving into the, my Gold Coast Marathon prep. I haven't fully decided yet. Obviously, it'd probably be best off to do more running. But as you can see here, there's pretty much like, well, actually, scrap what I just said. This will change a tiny bit. And I'll tell you how it will probably change. I'll be doing a long run on a Sunday, which I haven't been doing. So I think I might still do the Saturday ride with the with the lads and then Sunday is going to be where we'll obviously be building up to some pretty big long runs so I'd say Monday will be a rest day from running when I start this marathon block and and yeah I might even just keep keep the two rides in there and that way if I do that I'll be I'll only need to do say make probably one ride by myself but when that happens, we're still a while away from um, Gold Coast Marathon prep, but when that happens, I'll probably up yet, update you guys on what my plan is with that. But so that brings total volume for the week 100 kilometers plus on the bike, 60 kilometers running. So that's just in five days or four, four runs for the week, and we're hitting 60 kilometers, which is nice and four gym sessions. So that is pretty much it for my training at the moment. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. A bit of an insight into how things are going at the moment. I know you guys have been enjoying some of the riding content and that's pretty much how I'm balancing it at the moment. So even with the run this morning, I felt like um, on that la on the last rep, I was getting much quicker and I'm not like, not getting fatigued as much like an hour into the session, which means I'm probably getting fitter it's still summer, it's still really hot, and I feel like I'm getting better already. So I'm really excited to start this marathon prep in probably like four to six weeks, I think we'll start. But keen to bring you guys along for that full prep as well. But that's pretty much it for the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said last video, we're coming closer to that 20k sub. So appreciate you guys if you could subscribe, like the video and comment, and I shall see you on the next one. Yeah. Hey, let's see how you doing the pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you doing the pressure.